This week on Granite State Challenge, the Falcons of Bow High School take on the Cardinals of Stevens High School in Claremont. Only one team will advance. Granite State Challenge starts now. Major funding for the production of Granite State Challenge is provided by Unitil. Additional funding provided by NEA New Hampshire, Safety Insurance, New Hampshire Lottery, D.F. Richard Energy, HRCU, Cognia, and viewers like you. Thank you. Get ready. It's time for New Hampshire high schools to match wits in a high-stakes scholastic showdown. It's time for Granite State Challenge. Here's your host, John Cannon. Hello, everyone, and thank you so much for joining us this time on Granite State Challenge. We are in our fourth and final quarterfinal matchup, and we've got two teams here ready to do battle to see who's going to take that last spot in the semifinals. Let's introduce them to you. First up, we have the Falcons of Bow High School. My name is Justin, and I'm the president of the ping pong club at our school. I'm Madeline, and I can drive a stick shift. What's up, dudes? I'm Colin, and I got swag. My name's Rachel, and I'm the CEO of Ping Pong Club. Excellent. The alternates are Rory, Finn, Allie, and Kate. The team is coached by Michelle Lavaz, and they are the Falcons of Bow High School. <laughs> and ready to take them on are the Cardinals of Stevens High School in Claremont. My name is Prescott, and I love hiking in my free time. I'm Gabby and I play field hockey. I'm Libby and I play the piccolo. I'm Julia and I'm a drummer. All right, the team is coached by Gary Cullison and they are the Stevens High School Cardinals. All right, and one more introduction for you and that is of course our judge back with us again this week is Ann Belanger. All right, teams, introductions are done and out of the way. Let's get right into the game. As you know, Granite State Challenge is played in four rounds. In round one, we're going to do 10-point toss-up questions. So, Bo, Stevens, here we go. Good luck. What would the year 2000 be in room, Roman numerals? Justin of Bo. MM. MM is correct. The line of zero degrees longitude is known by this name. Colin of Bow. Waiter. Sorry, no. We were looking for the prime meridian. Teams, what amendment to the U.S. Constitution outlaws poll taxes? Prescott of Stevens. 18th. Sorry, no. Colin of Bow. 24th. It is the 24th, yes. This city calls itself the neon capital of the world and even has a museum dedicated to it. Prescott of Stevens. Las Vegas. That's it. Teams, what novel opens with the line, Alice was beginning to get very tired of sitting by her sister on the bank? Prescott of Stevens. Alice in Wonderland. That's it. Who was the only U.S. president who served on the U.S. Supreme Court? Prescott of Stevens. Taft. Taft is correct. This writer's works include the novel The Bridge of San Luis Rey, for which he won a Pulitzer Prize, and the plays The Skin of Our Teeth and Our Town, for which he also won Pulitzer Prizes. His play Our Town is set in the fictional town of Grover's Corners, New Hampshire. Rachel of Bow. Wilder. Yes. This Muslim minister and activist who was a spokesman for the Nation of Islam was assassinated in 1965 in New York City. Colin of Bow. Malcolm X. Yes. This unit of land measurement is equal to 4,840 square yards. Prescott of Stevens. Acre. That's it. American artist Robert Indiana's best works may be prints and sculptures featuring this four-letter word. Prescott of Stevens. Soup. Sorry. Nope. Colin of Bow. Good. Nope. Both good. Uh, guesses. It's love is the word. 
This red to pink gemstone, a variety of the mineral corundum, gets its color from chromium. Justin of Bow. Ruby. Ruby's is right. Nine out of 13 states were needed to ratify the U.S. Constitution before it would become official. What state was the ninth state to ratify it? Madeline of Bow. New Hampshire. Yes. In 1974, this Hungarian inventor and architect's mechanical puzzle was introduced to the world. Colin of Bow. Rubik's Cube. Yeah, we'll give you that. We're looking for Erno Rubik, the inventor. Teams, this city in Florida was first settled in 1565. Justin of Bow. St. Augustine. Yes. Five U.S. states are in the Pacific time zone. Two of them, Oregon and Idaho, have regions in the mountain time zone. What are the remaining three states entirely in the Pacific time zone? Prescott of Stevens? Nevada, California, and Oregon? Sorry, nope. Rachel of Bow? Um, California, Nevada, and Arizona? Sorry, it's California, Nevada, and Washington was the third state. One of this composer's most famous works is the one-movement orchestral work, Bolero. The work was featured in the 1979 romantic comedy, Ten, and the English ice dancing team, Torval and Dean, won the 1984 gold medal in a performance set to the music. Madeline of Bow. Ravel. Ravel is right. This Mexican painter known for her self-portraits was portrayed by Salma Hayek in a 2002 film directed by Julie Taymor. Justin of Bow. Kahlo. Correct. This English architect rebuilt over 50 churches in London after the 1666 Great Fire, one of which was St. Paul's Cathedral. Colin of Bow. Smith. Sorry, nope. Sir Christopher Wren. Truman Capote said that this beat writer's works was typing, not writing. Rachel of Bow. Kerouac. Kerouac is right. Teams, what is the formula for calculating the area of a circle? Justin of Bow. Pi r squared. Correct. All right, teams, the next question is our unitil power question. It's worth double the points. Take a look at your monitors. This Russian composer is best known for composing the music for the ballets Swan Lake and The Nutcracker. Rachel of Bow. Tchaikovsky. Correct. Published in 1899, this Kate Chopin novel features Edna Pontellier and her struggles with her evolving views on motherhood, femininity, and the social attitudes of her time. Rachel of Bow. Awakening. Correct. Richie Havens opened this outdoor music festival on August 15, 1969 at 5.07 p.m. And because many of the other performers were stuck in traffic, his set was longer than intended. And he later claimed that he played every song he knew. Justin of Bow. Woodstock. Correct. Teams, what type of a sentence is one with two independent clauses joined by a comma, semicolon, or conjunction? Colin of Bow. Big sentence. Sorry. <laughs> Libby of Stevens. Compound sentence. That's the right one. In his 1935 poem, Let America Be America Again, this black poet states, America was never America to me. Rachel of Bow. Langston Hughes. Correct. This author is a native of Exeter, New Hampshire, and wrote The Da Vinci Code. Rachel of Bow. Dan Brown. Correct. Teams, how many prime numbers are there between 1 and 10? Justin of Bow. Uh, five. Sorry, no. Stevens? There are four prime numbers. In 1984, she became the first woman to run for vice president on the Democratic Party ticket. Prescott of Stevens. Geraldine Ferraro. Yes. The oldest version of this oath taken by physicians is a 10th or 11th century version housed in the Vatican Library. Prescott of Stevens. Hippocrates. 
Say it again. Hypocrites. I'm going to give that. Okay, sorry. No. Bo, Colin? Hippocratic Oath. Yeah, the Hippocratic Oath is what we were going for. But that's okay. That sound ends the round. It looks like Bo has jumped out to a bit of a lead by a score of 190 to 60. All right. Good game going, teams. Keep it up. We're going to go right into round two. In round two, we're going to continue with the toss-up questions. We're going to double the point value, so we're playing for 20-point toss-up questions. Bo and Stevens, here we go. A sloth could be said to be as slow as molasses. Spell molasses. Madeline of Bo. M-O-L-A-S-S-E-S. -S -S. That's it. There are four extant species of this African carnivore, the spotted, striped, brown, and ard wolf. The spotted variety is known for its laugh. Justin of Bow. Hyena. Yes. All right, teams, for this next question, go ahead and take a look at the monitors in front of you. You are looking at a picture of a large wading bird whose feathers were once used to adorn ladies' hats. Colin of Bow. Heron. Can you be more specific? Blue heron. More specific than that. Great blue heron. Correct. <laughs> Enacted in 1940, this act required all non-citizen adult residents to register with the federal government. Colin of Bow. Alien Act. Sorry, no. Stevens? It was the Alien Registration Act is what we needed. This man, who became the fifth director of the U.S. National Institute of Allergy and Infectious Diseases in 1984, became the chief medical advisor to the president in 2021. Colin of Bow. Fauci. Correct, Dr. Anthony Fauci. Peter Piper picked a peck of pickled peppers is an example of this figure of speech. Madeline of Bow. Alliteration. That's it. Three New Hampshire delegates to the Second Continental Congress signed the Declaration of Independence. Name any one of them. Justin of Bow. Webster. Sorry, nope. We had Josiah Bartlett, William Whipple, and Matthew Thornton were the three. All right, teams, this colonial landowner has been called North America's first feminist. In 1648, she asked the governor and assembly of Maryland to admit her with two votes, one as a landowner and one as Lord Baltimore's attorney. She was denied. Justin of Bow. Wolf. Sorry, no. Sorry, Rachel can't ring in. It was Margaret Brent was the name we were going for. In 1917, the U.S. bought the Danish West Indies from Denmark for $25 million and changed the name of the islands to this. Prescott of Stevens? Virgin Islands? Correct. On December 7, 1787, this state became the first state to ratify the United States Constitution. Prescott of Stevens? Delaware? Yes. This equine-inspired unit of measure is equal to 746 watts. Colin of Bow. Horsepower. Correct. This large aquatic mammal is also known as the sea cow. Justin of Bow. Manatee. Yes. This French playwright wrote comedies, farces, and tragic comedies. His works include The Amorous Flea, Tartuffe, and The Misanthrope. His name was Moliere. This American playwright wrote The Children's Hour, The Little Fox, and Toys in the Attic. Rachel of Bow. George Bernard Shaw. Sorry, no. It was Lillian Hellman was the name. All right, teams, this 1966 movie told the story of Sir Thomas More, the Chancellor of England, from October 1529 to May 1532, who opposed the Protestant Reformation and was executed for treason. That film was a man for all seasons. 
While President Woodrow Wilson issued a proclamation officially establishing June 14th as this day that celebrates a symbol of the United States, it is not a federal holiday. It is a state holiday in Pennsylvania. Madeline of Bow? Flag Day. That's correct. Teams, what is the region of space-time so strong that nothing can escape from it called? Justin of Bow? Black Hole. That's it. German com will save that question for round four. And after two rounds, Bo hanging on to its lead by a score of 370 to 100. All right, teams, good work. We're going to move into round three, which is our three strikes and you're out round. So each team will get a category with 10 questions. We'll go down the line, one question per contestant, until we've either gone through all 10 questions or you've three strikes and you're out. Stevens is the team trailing. You get to pick first, and Prescott, you get to choose from these categories. The state you're in, meow, 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 and time after time. The state you're in. The state you're in, okay. Identify the state where the following plays or musicals are set. All right, Prescott, Hairspray. Maryland. Correct. Gabby, The Crucible. It is Massachusetts. Libby, Biloxi Blues. Louisiana. Close, it's Mississippi. Julia, meet me in St. Louis. It's Missouri was the state, and that's your third strike, so one response. All right. Good job, Stevens. Bo, we turn to you. And Justin, as the team captain, you can choose from meow, 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 and time after time. Let's go for meow, meow, meow. Meow, meow, meow. It is identify the following famous cats. <laughs> All right. Justin, he had a big smile in Alice in Wonderland. Cheshire cat. Correct. Madeline, this cat whose given name was Tartar Sauce, went viral after appearing on Reddit in 2012. Grumpy Cat. Grumpy Cat is correct. Colin, this orange tabby cat from the comics loves lasagna. Garfield. Correct. Rachel, this cat wanted to eat Tweety Bird. Um. It is Sylvester. Justin. This cat's nemesis was Jerry. Tom. Correct. Madeline, this is Hermione Granger's cat. It is Crookshanks. Colin, this cat hangs out with thing one and thing two. Cat and hat. Correct. Rachel, this well-shod cat from a French fairy tale is played by Antonio Banderas in the movie Shrek 2. Uh, put cat in boots, P puss in boots. We'll give it correct. Puss in boots is correct. <laughs> Justin, this black cat with a white face was created in 1919 by Pat Sullivan and Otto Messmer during the silent film era. It is Felix the cat. And is that the third strike? It is. So after. <laughs> Six correct responses. Well done. All right, that ends the three strikes and your out round. Bo and Stevens, grab those signaling devices because we're going to go into round four. In round four, we'll continue with the 20-point uh, toss-up questions, but we will be deducting 20 points for incorrect responses, so a lot can change in this round. Bo, Stevens, play smart. Good luck. Here we go. German composer Engelbert Humperdinck is perhaps best known for composing this fairy tale opera featuring a brother and a sister and a gingerbread witch. Madeline of Bow. Hansel and Gretel. Yes. On June 12, 1898, the Philippines proclaimed independence from this country. Colin of Bow. Spain. Yes. In 1966, this national health insurance program that provides health insurance for Americans aged 65 and older went into effect. Prescott of Stevens. Social Security. Sorry, no. Colin of Bow. 
Medicare. Medicare is right. Teams, 200 is what percent of 40? Prescott of Stevens? 500. Yes. This could be a period of depression or lassitude or an equatorial region of the Atlantic Ocean with light and unpredictable winds. Colin of Bow? Bad area. Sorry, no. Prescott of Stevens. Depression? Sorry, it is the doldrums. The doldrums. In 1912, immigrant textile workers in this Massachusetts city, led by the industrial workers of the world, went on strike in protest over a two-hour pay cut for women. Prescott of Stevens. Lawrence? Correct. Published in 1962, this book by Rachel Carson, which spelled out the environmental effects caused by the use of pesticides, led to a nationwide ban on DDT for agricultural uses. The book was called Silent Spring. Coal workers pneumoconiosis is also known by this more common name. Colin of Bow. Black Lung. That's it. Cook Mary Mallon was an asymptomatic carrier of this disease and was forced into quarantine at North Brother Island, New York, where she died in isolation of pneumonia in 1938 at age 69. Colin of Bow. Tuberculosis. Sorry, nope. It's typhoid. Teams, what is the common Latin term that means to infinity? Ad infinitum was the correct response. This English philosopher is perhaps best known for his 1655, 1651 book, Leviathan, in which he explains social contract theory. Colin of Bow. Hobbes. That's it. This ornithologist and painter's major work was the color plate book, The Birds of America. Colin of Bow. Audubon. Yes. The red blood cells in this inherited disease are crescent-shaped. Prescott of Stevens? Hemophilia? Sorry, no. Sorry, Bo. Sickle cell anemia was the correct response. The condition, trismus, which prevents the opening of the mouth more than a few millimeters, is better known by this name. Prescott of Stevens? Watcha? Yes. This American painter and illustrator lived in Plainfield, New Hampshire. His works are characterized by bright, vibrant colors, and a color of blue is named for him. His works include Romance and Daybreak. It was Maxfield Parish. This atoll in the Pacific was the site of 23 nuclear tests by the United States from 1946 to 1958. It was also the inspiration for the name of a type of bathing suit. Rachel of Bow? Bikini. Yes. What is the largest extant animal in the world? Colin of Bow. Blue whale. Yes. This small organ stores bile produced by the liver. Colin of Bow. Gallbladder. Yep, you got it. This 1862 act provided that any adult citizen or intended citizen who had never borne arms against the U.S. government could claim 160 acres of surveyed government land as long as they improved the land by building a dwelling and cultivating the land. Prescott of Stevens. Homestead? Yes, the Homestead Act is correct. What colorless gas has a chemical formula of CO2? Madeline of Bow. Carbon dioxide. Yes. This English philosopher and statesman has been called the father of empiricism and is credited with defining the scientific method. Colin of Bow. Who is Joe? Sorry, no. It is Francis Bacon. What is a verse without rhyme, usually an iambic pentameter called? Rachel of Bow. A meter? Sorry, no. Blank verse was the answer we were going for. And that sound ends the game, and by a score of 550 to 130, 
Bo is moving on to the semifinals. Congratulations, Bo. Good game. We'll see you in a couple of weeks when you take on the Clippers of Portsmouth High School. And Stevens, thanks so much for coming and playing with us today. And congratulations on your first round victory. We hope you guys had fun. And we hope you had fun at home as well. We hope you join us next time when the Little Green of Manchester Central High School take on the Tomahawks of Merrimack High School in our first semifinal match. That'll do it for us this time on Granite State Challenge. I hope you had fun. And I hope you learned a lot. I did. I hope you did too. Bye. Major funding for the production of Granite State Challenge is provided by Unitil. Additional funding provided by NEA New Hampshire, Safety Insurance, New Hampshire Lottery, D.F. Richard Energy, HRCU, Cognia, and viewers like you. Thank you.